Okay, so for this station here, we'll be working with parallelograms. Um, and this shape is a parallelogram. Sometimes we call it maybe a rectangle with attitude. All right, so it's slanted over to the side here with a bit of attitude. And now here is um, a parallelogram. Two things to know about it is that it has um, two pairs of parallel sides. So the ends are parallel to each other and the top and bottom are parallel to each other. All right, you always measure height as in perpendicular to your base. So height has to be straight up and down. This is not your height. This is just the side length here. Okay, I want you to count, you're gonna pause your video in a second, or it's gonna pause for you, and I want you to count how many squares you have in here. Tell me what you think the area of your parallelogram will be. All right, you're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so what was your guess? Did you think somewhere close to 60? Because that would have been the correct answer. Now, and we're gonna prove that. The area of this rectangle, length times width here, or base times height, would be 60 square centimeters. All right, so, we're gonna prove that the size of this is the exact same size as this, as long as your base and height are the same. So we're gonna count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units is your base. And then one, two, three, four, five, six centimeters is your height. So my base is still 10 and my height is still six. So I'm gonna show you a little trick here. Now this is the same parallelogram that we have right here. I just I drew out your heights and I labeled your dimensions for you. Now, what you're going to do is go ahead and cut out your parallelogram. Okay, now that you've done that, I want you to draw a straight line, a vertical line on your parallelogram from this corner straight up to the top. You're gonna draw a line there and then you're gonna cut off that triangle on the end of your paper. You're gonna cut that off. Okay, what you should have now will look like this. Does yours look like this? Good. And if not, then you didn't do it right. Okay. So, <laughs> how can we make this parallelogram look like your rectangle right here? How can we do that? Well, that's actually pretty simple. You're just going to take this and you're going to rearrange this and move it right over here. Now, I used to tell my students something kind of silly, and I would say, what happens if I take my arm and I remove it and I attach it to my other shoulder. Just take off one arm and move it somewhere else. Take off my foot and attach it to my knee. Did I change the size of my body at all? I didn't, I rearranged it and I moved some pieces around, but it still stayed the exact same size. And that's what we're doing here. We're not taking anything away, we're just rearranging it. We're moving parts from one side to another. We just move it right over here, and that's all we did. It takes up the exact same amount of space. We can prove that by stacking it right on here. You know what, I'm gonna turn it backward just so you can see where there's no lines. And you can see it really well. This is the exact same size, and it still has a base of 10 and a height of six units. So, for every parallelogram in the world, your formula for the area of a parallelogram, area equals base times height. Okay, you just multiply your base. If my base across here is 10 centimeters and my height is six centimeters, I just multiply the two of them together and I have 60 units. I'm not dividing it by two because I'm not taking anything away, I'm just rearranging it. All right, that's it, you're gonna do a few more practice problems.